All right, welcome to my first attempt at Facebook Live yoga class. So today we're going to be doing a heart opening flow and you may want a block or two or a book it can be in place of a block, a blanket to sit on or to cover yourself with at the end for Shavasana. But again, if you're home and you don't have those things, you can find something that will substitute. And we're going to sit up tall in our seat. Place your hands over your heart. So make a little butterfly shape here. And then close your eyes. And take a few cleansing breaths to ground yourself into your seat. Feel your shoulders relax, your skin soften. Watch your breath. Allow it to slowly deepen. Invite in your ujjayi breath, that gentle constriction at the back of the throat, so that you can hear and feel your breath as it sighs in and out. And bring your awareness down to the space beneath your hands. Breathe into that space. Feel the breath expand through the heart center in all directions. And observe what feelings you're having in your body right now. I know I've been experiencing the whole roller coaster of emotions as we move through the uncertainty and the unknown and the scariness of what is happening right now in the world. So you can acknowledge any of those feelings. And then I invite you to make a choice to ch switch your focus to love, to connection, And to trust. Where do you choose to place your energy and your attention? And allow that to be your intention for our class today. Take one more big breath here and exhale to the absolute bottom of your breath. And as you inhale, lift your arms, lift your face. And exhale, bring your hands down. Again, inhale, lift your arms, lift your gaze. And exhale, your hands down. One more breath. Exhale to the absolute bottom. Inhale full across the heart, the torso. And as you exhale, reach your fingertips forward, drop your chin and round your shoulders. Inhale, sweep your arms open and back. Lift your heart, lift your face. Exhale to bow, palms together, chin drops. Inhale, hands to heart, spine tall. So Robin's breath, pranayama, exhale, bow. Inhale, open. Exhale, bow. Inhale, tall. So continue at the pace of your breath. 
And as you exhale, find the pause at the bottom of your exhale. And then move into the inhale pattern, opening your arms. Pause at the top and exhale to round. Explore the breath. Find the pause between inhale and exhale. And invite in the movement to follow the flow of your breath. We'll finish with the inhale, the tall spine. And go ahead and rock forward to hands and knees, setting up your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Strong hands. And begin to find your natural movement here. Curl your toes under, maybe you shake side to side, maybe you make circles. Tapping into what your body needs in this moment. And we'll meet at the top, hands and knees, for a couple of rounds of cat-cow. Press into your toes and your fingers as you inhale, lift your sit bones, your heart. And exhale to point your toes round your spine, pull chin to chest. Inhale, cow, belly drops. Exhale, cat, round your spine. Move with your breath. And we'll meet at an inhale on hands and knees. Ground your right hand underneath you. Inhale your left arm up in an open twist. And exhale to thread through for thread the needle. Right hand can stay on the ground can come to the base of the spine or extend up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release your hand down. Inhale to open it back up. And release. And pause and switch sides. Ground through your left hand. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale to thread. And ground through your right arm. Press your left shoulder back, left hip back. Either keep hand on the floor, comes to the base of the spine, or extends up. One more big breath. Exhale, release your hand to the earth. Inhale, back to hands and knees. Walk your hands one, hands width farther forward. Curl your toes under and find downward facing dog. And again, take some time to walk your feet, to shift your hips, to find your stance. And ground through your fingers and come to stillness. Heavy heels. Crown of your head lengthens towards your hands. Come back to your ujjayi breath. And maybe find a small pulse so that as you inhale, you lengthen through your sit bones. As you exhale, heaviness through your heels, through your crown. And inhale your right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, high. Exhale, take your knee across your body towards the opposite elbow. Inhale, high. And exhale, step through into a lunge. Drop your back knee. Inhale for a high lunge. 
and grasp your left wrist and pull over to the right. Take your gaze past your left shoulder. Inhale back to center. And exhale, open it up into a twist. Inhale to center. Exhale, hands to heart. Shift your weight back. Ardha Hanumanasana. Hands at your hips. You can use your block here or your couch or whatever is handy for balance. You need to bow forward slightly over your front leg. Right hip draws back and down. And inhale forward into your lunge. Bring your hands back to the earth. Walk your toes towards the outside edge of your mat. And then lower your heart down towards the floor. So your hands can step wide. You can rest forearms on a block or a books. Or you can come all the way down to the floor. Your right foot can stay straight on the floor. It can turn out to the side. You can even pull the, can you see my foot? You can even pull the foot up, the sole of the foot up onto the edge. And then inhale, walk yourself back to center. Step your right foot back to plank. Drop your knees and slowly come down onto your belly. Point your toes, lift your palms, and breathe into your torso. Shoulders roll back, elbows hug in, and root towards your heels. Find the bottom of your exhale, ground through your toes, your tailbone. Let your inhale lift you high. One more deep breath. And exhale, release down, release your hands. Inhale, inhale to hands and knees. Curl your toes under, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, high. Exhale, lunge. And drop your back knee. Inhale, up high, lunge. And Janiyasana. And clasp your right wrist and pull over to the left. Turn your gaze up past your upper arm. Inhale back to center. Open up into a twist. Take your gaze past your left fingertips. Come back to center. Straighten your front leg. Shift your weight back. This is a good time to find a couch or a block as you drop your left hip back and down and begin to lean forward over your front leg. Hands can stay balanced on your hips. You can bring them to your blocks or if you have the flexibility, you can come to the floor. Root down into your heel. So you're extending forward through the ball of your foot and drawing the hip back and down. Inhale to rise up, shift forward. Hands come to the inside of your leg, walk your foot out towards the outer edge. And again, toes can stay straight or they can turn out to the side. You can stay up on your hands and bend your elbows, come down onto a prop onto your forearms or come down forearms to the floor. Your foot can stay flat on the ground, or you can lift the inner edge of the foot up and play more in the hip. 
and explore how those different placements feel in your body. Wait for the bottom of an exhale. Inhale to press up. Step back to plank. And pause. Press into your knuckles, into your fingertips. Press out through your heels and forward through the crown of your skull. As we move through chaturanga, as we come to the floor, you can drop your knees. Or if you're staying knees up, come to your toes, shifting your weight forward, bend your elbows, hug in and back as you come down to your belly. Point your toes, fingertips are nipple height as you inhale and roll up to cobra. Exhale to roll down. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll down. And twice more. Find the bottom of your exhale. Inhale and pause at the top. Exhale, roll down. Pause at the bottom. Inhale, roll up. Last one. Exhale, roll down. Good. Inhale, hands and knees. Curl your toes under, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths here, inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Come back to your ujjayi breath. With each inhale, you root into your fingers, lift through your sit bones. Each exhale, you broaden your shoulders, soften the crown of your head towards your hands. And then walk your feet towards your hands, small steps. We'll meet in Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale up, halfway. Press your hands into your thighs, extend through your crown. And exhale, fold forward. And bend your knees, drop your chest to your thighs, clasp opposite elbows and let your head hang. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Release anything that you've been carrying. Release worry, release stress, release anxiety. You can pick them back up later, but you don't need them in this moment. Take a big sigh out through your mouth. <sighs> and release your hands. Ground through your feet and inhale all the way up to standing. I'm just going to shift back slightly there now you can see my head so pause in Tadasana bring a hand to your heart a hand to your belly ground through your feet lift through your crown come back to your intention Wait for the bottom of an exhale. And inhale to lift your arms. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll move through our Robin's Breath Pranayama. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bow forward. Drop your chin, reach through your fingertips. Inhale, sweep your arms open, lift your chest. Exhale, bow, palms together, chin to chest. Inhale, tall, hands to heart. Exhale, bow and reach. 
inhale open and lift exhale to bow inhale tall spine and release your hands inhale your arms up exhale swan dive to the earth inhale up halfway long spine and exhale step back to plank pose your choice needs lifted or on the earth exhale to lower down Inhale, pull your chest through for cobra or upward dog. And exhale to rock back to downward facing dog. Big breath here. Exhale, ground through your feet, lift through your hips, lengthen through your crown. Inhale, your right leg up. Exhale, step it through for your lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands to your heart. We'll find Robin's breath here. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, bow and reach, chin to chest. Inhale, open and lift. So observe how this movement challenges your balance. Inhale, tall spine. Reach your arms up over your head. Exhale into a twist. Deep breath here. Pull through your back fingertips, shoulders over hips, and deepen into your front knee. Good. One more breath. And inhale your arms up. And exhale to open to warrior two. Pull through your back arm to draw shoulders over hips. Track your right knee towards your middle toe. Bring your left hand to your heart. And steady your gaze off of your right fingertips. Come back to your intention. What is the energy that you are inviting in? How are you powering your practice? Why are you here? One more breath. Spin your right palm up, inhale, lift your arm. Exhale, extended side angle, right hand to thigh, left arm extends over your head. Inhale, up and back, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, straighten your front leg. And exhale. Reach forward. You can take a moment if your stance feels too long to just bring that back foot in about one foot width. Extend forward and bring your hand down. This is another good place to use your block. To lift through your torso, find the length through both sides of your body so you're not collapsing through your right side. You're keeping the right side long and open. Right hip draws back. Knee spins towards your middle toe. Lift through your upper fingers and lift your gaze. And take your left hand back down to your heart. Spin your gaze towards the floor. Bend into your front knee and step forward. Step your hand or your hand with your block or book forward about 18 inches. Lift your back leg for Ardha Chandrasana and find your balance. Toes stay pointed straight ahead. You can stay here with hand on the heart, that little physical reminder of your practice and your intention. Or if you're ready, you can open your heart up, spinning your heart open towards the ceiling. 
Just observe all those adjustments that our bodies are making. If you fall out, that's part of the adjustment process. And then drop hand to heart and slowly step back to warrior two. And exhale, cartwheel your hands to the mat. Step back to plank. Your choice, knees on the earth or lifted. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale here. Exhale, sigh it out. Come back to your ujjayi breath. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it into your lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Hug through your inner, inner arms. Hug through your inner legs. Long tailbone. And drop your hands to your heart for a round of Robin's breath. Inhale, tall. Exhale, reach through your fingers, round your spine. Inhale, open and lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, tall. Good. Take your arms up over your head. Find another big inhale. And as you exhale, twist. Pull through your back arm. Bring shoulders over hips. Deep in the bend in your front knee. Heavy tailbone. And then inhale, unwind. Drop your back heel. Open it up, warrior two. And bring your right hand to your heart. Soft shoulders. Steady gaze over your fingertips. As you inhale, pull towards midline. As though you're trying to draw your limbs connecting them into your core. And as you exhale, extend through your front knee, tracking it wide, through your back thigh, through your front fingers, and your crown of your head. What is your intention? Draw it in powerfully in this moment. Anchor it with your tailbone. And then spin your front palm up. Inhale, lift your arm and your gaze, reverse forward. Exhale, extend it, side angle, front forearm to thigh, right arm reaches up and over. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extend it, side angle. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, extended. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Take a moment, if it feels right for you, to walk your back foot in about one foot sweat to find your block. Inhale, long spine. And then exhale, begin to reach forward. The left hip draws back as you extend through the left side of your body. And then bring your hand down to your block. Draw your right shoulder blade back, left shoulder blade back. And spin your heart, your gaze up. Come back to your ujjayi breath. And drop your right hand to your heart. Spin your gaze to the floor and step forward for Ardha Chandrasana. Back leg lifts so that if you were to look down the front of your body, you could just see your toes. Roll your right shoulder blade onto your back. Heart can stay, hand can stay at your heart or you can lift it up to the sky. Be with those small adjustments. We're always falling out and coming back. That's part of the journey. 
It's part of the practice, the most important part. Release your hand, step back to warrior two. And exhale to cartwheel your hands back to the mat. Step back to plank. And either switch directly back to hands to downward facing dog or move through the chaturanga of your choice. Three deep breaths here. Take an inhale. Sigh it out on your exhale. And come back to your ujjayi breath. And take your gaze up to your hands. Step, walk, or jump. Feet to your hands. Inhale up halfway to a long spine. Exhale down. Inhale up halfway. Exhale down, bend your knees, drop your tailbone, find chair pose, sweep your arms up over your head. Exhale to cactus your arms, open across the front of your chest. And reach your arms up and spin your palms out and away from you. Take them back behind, clasp your knuckles, pull your shoulders back, heart lifts. And exhale, bow forward. Take three breaths here. And release your hands, pull your knuckles towards your hips and let your hands go to the floor. Inhale up halfway, long spine. Exhale, chair pose, arms lift up. Exhale, sweep your hands back behind you and rise up onto your toes, come into a balance. Heart pulls forward. And release your heels, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, swan dive all the way to the floor. Inhale up halfway. And exhale, step back to plank. Find your version of chaturanga to cobra or upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale your right leg high. Bend your knee, open your hip, press your foot into an imaginary resistance as you pull and stack the hips open. Take your gaze towards your left wrist and lift through your left shoulder. And with an exhale, square your hips and bring your right knee towards your right wrist. Point your back toes, press down to lift your arms up. Square your pelvis forward, strong legs. And with an exhale, walk yourself into resting pigeon. I really like to use a block or a book to place underneath my forehead. And I extend from the base of the spine out through the crown of my head. You can make any adjustments you need. Maybe your block goes underneath your right hip. You can use your blanket here, your heel. Can come in close to your groin or the more open you are in your hips. Oh, you can't see me. The farther the foot can come towards parallel with the front of your mat. And if this isn't good on your knees, four square on your back is always a really nice alternative. So it takes that pressure off the knee and lets you get right into the hip. And 
relax into your variation of this hip opener. For two more deep breaths. And with your next inhale, walk yourself up. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. If you'd like to move through one more chaturanga vinyasa, please feel free to do so. And from downward dog, lift your left leg up, three-legged dog, and bend your knee, open your hip, press into your foot, lift through your right shoulder. And with an exhale, square your hips, bring your knee all the way forward towards your left wrist. Press down into your legs to lift your arm. And exhale into your resting pigeon using whatever props you need. Staying propped up on your hands or resting your head on the block or the earth. Maybe you come onto your back for this four square variation to protect your knees. The beautiful thing about yoga is it is your practice. And listening to your body and your breath. We've all had a little bit more time maybe for listening, depending on whether or not you have children that give you that time now that there's no school. But in this space, connect back to the heart. What is the intention behind this breath? for the bottom of an exhale and then inhale press yourself back up and take that back leg and swing it around front and come to Baddha Konasana butterfly this can be a good place to sit up on your blanket to lift your pelvis and find your sit bones sit up nice and tall Turn your right palm up and draw your first and third pointer and middle finger into your palm. Bring your right thumb to cover your right nostril and we'll inhale through the left for a count of four. Hold for a count of four. And exhale for a count of four. Inhale four, hold for four, and exhale for four. Continue on your own. You can lengthen the count for yourself. Find the length of breath that works in your body.
We'll finish with an exhale through the left nostril. Release your hands and bow forward over your legs. Again, this can be a nice place to rest your forehead on a block. Bowing as far forward as serves your body. So that might mean that you stay upright in your spine, or it might mean your belly is flat over your legs. It might mean your elbows are resting on a block, or you can even spin your body towards your couch and drape your torso over the front of your couch or a chair. Wait for the bottom of an exhale and slowly press yourself back up to a comfortable seat and we'll spin around onto our backs. So this is a place where you may want to have a blanket, um, a block handy or a book, but it is optional. There's two options for it. My headset wants to fall off my head. There we go. You can take the block and you can hold it between your inner thighs to give you a little bit of in core integration. Or if you want to do something a little bit more gentle, you can just place your hips up on the block and rest either with feet on the floor or feet lifted into the air. If you're choosing a more active posture, hold the block between your inner thighs, ground through your arms and lift your hips to bridge pose. We're not gonna clasp our hands today, but you can roll your shoulders under and ground through your arms. With an exhale, slowly lower your pelvis till it just barely touches the floor. And then inhale, lift your hips back up as high as you can, pressing into the back of your skull and the inner edges of your feet. And with an exhale, lower your hips until they just brush the floor. And then inhale, lift. Last one, just brush the floor with your exhale. Inhale, lift, and we'll hold here for a breath, drawing the heart towards your chin, pulling your chin away from your heart. And on your next exhale, you can slowly lower down. If you chose the variation with your hips resting up on the block, you can move the block out of the way. Bring your feet so they're slightly wider than mat width apart, or about mat width apart. Rest your palms up and drop your knees down to one side and then the other. Moving any pesky furniture out of your way. And then when you drop your knees back down to the left, Take your left foot and hook it over your right knee and take your right arm and send it up towards the uh, top of your mat. And breathe into the right side of your body. Find a soft smile. And then unhook your foot, come back to center. Lower your knees down to the right. 
And take the right foot over the left knee. Send your left arm up towards the top of your mat. And breathe into the left side of your body. Soften your skin. Relax your eyes. You can even place your right hand on your heart. as a physical reminder. Dropping into a place of love, of trust. And unwind your legs. Draw your knees into your chest. One last big hug, nose to knees. Then inhale, release your head back. Stretch out your legs. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Allow your fingers to curl, your feet to fall open. your tongue to peel off the top of your mouth. And with every exhale, allow yourself to soften and surrender. Discard layers of tension as though you were a snake shedding skin. There's always another layer. With each breath, you let go a little bit more. You sink a little deeper. You shed another layer.
Give yourself permission to stay in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. Thank you for joining me on my adventures into FaceTime Live Yoga, and I hope we get to do this again. Namaste.